Hi everybody, I'm here with a review of a casual shoe. Um, kind of mixing things up here a little bit. Normally I do, you know, basketball shoes for performance, but I wanted to go over these just in case anybody would be interested. These are the Adidas Tubulars. Uh, when they first released the original colorways, um, they all had a white midsole outsole. Uh, so they finally released these pairs with a black midsole outsole, and I wanted to get them. You guys know if you wear white shoes, you know, you have to worry about keeping them clean and being paranoid about where you step and waiting for a nice day and all that. So I didn't want to worry about any of that stuff. And these are part of the New Year's pack or the New Year's Eve pack. I don't know which one it is. I don't really care. Uh, they're still available on finishline.com. Uh, they retail for $110. For some reason, you can't use a coupon code on Finish Line, but they're also available um, in stores and other places. I've seen them in Foot Locker and Champs and, and Adidas stores, and I'm sure you can use coupons in store to uh, to get them. So they're still, you know, very easy to get right now. So let's just talk a little bit about the shoe and the materials and what it looks like. And some of the pictures, it's kind of hard to tell what, what it looks like and what it's made out of. So just looking at this thing in detail. Overall, you have like a fabric upper. It's kind of like a sweatpant fleece uh, sock material. It's very comfortable. Um, and then you have a bunch of like synthetics and leathers and things, these little panels and pipings. So this section right here is synthetic in the toe, okay? Um, overlapping that, that toe box. And then you have this piece of gray leather here. And it looks, the shoe is symmetrical, meaning, you know, on both sides, the medial and the distal side, it looks the same, okay? So this gray piece of leather here really helps to uh, keep your foot in place and keep everything locked down, that piece there. And then you have um, this black piping here that's also leather, and this gold panel in the back is leather as well. And then you have a um, plastic shoe lace tab, I don't know what you call this, a lace tab or a lace guard. Um, you have a pull tab right with the adidas branding that helps to get the shoe on you have a heel counter plastic heel counter that you can't see on the inside there and then you have um the adidas logo right there the trefoil right um these thick round gray laces those are nice and then you have of course the uh the tubular midsole and outsole that's where the name and inspiration comes from you have that hollowed out um cord out section there and then on the outside is where the shoe meets the ground okay so that kind of covers um, the materials and what the shoe is is really made out of what it looks like uh, one immediate issue would be the sizing a lot of people had questions and concerns about that online um, I want a half size down well I guess I should say normally I wear a 10 in most Adidas shoes and a nine and a half in a few of them like the Rose 3 uh, so I went with the nine and a half in these and they fit um, better. They are very roomy on the inside due to the uh, the upper being very thin, right? The upper is pretty thin there and you have a lot of room on the inside. So uh, the best thing would be able, you know, the best thing would be to try them on um, if you're able to. Uh, but if you can't, you know, we're in these days we're ordering shoes online without even trying them on. That's kind of crazy, but that's kind of becoming normal. Now. Um, I would go half size down and I think you would be okay or go with your smaller size if you're between sizes um, I could go a full size down to a nine and it would it would really depend on the um, the thickness of the sock that you're gonna wear Okay, so normally I have a lot of like um, Athletic socks Nike elites and NBA socks and things like that uh, And those are thicker so it helps to fill the shoe out more um, but if I wore like thin uh, mesh running socks or like really thin cotton socks then I, I can go a full size down without any problems But as it is I have about a fingers width of room between my toes and the, uh, the end of the toe box there So sizing is tricky, but I would advise you to go half size down if you if you're gonna order online um, so they do have a thin upper and I initially had some problems with the, a little bit of discomfort with this heel counter um, And that was because I was wearing the shoe loose, right? Um if you're gonna wear these loose, meaning you don't tighten this area or tie them at all, you might have some a similar problem. And you know, all I did was I just tightened these three or four sections here without tying them, but just tightening that area, and it pushed my uh, my foot back and kept everything locked down. You know, that's how shoes work, right? Is the pressure here is what pus pushes your foot back into the heel counter, and that that's what keeps everything in place. And uh, when I did that uh, for these, it was fine. There was no problem at all with the with the heel anymore. They're very comfortable overall. Um, I guess we should talk about the cushioning. That's this tubular area here, right? They look 
uh, just based on appearance, they look very soft, like a pillow, uh, but they're not really. They're actually a little bit on the firm side, and I don't want you guys to misunderstand. They're not hard, but they're not. Uh, they're not really like very soft and you know cushiony, like a like an air bubble might be, or something like that. Um, I actually like that. I think that's better for people because we've been running. You know, we've been barefoot longer than we've been um wearing shoes in the in the span of history um so these are a little bit firmer and they're still very comfortable and i think they're good for um for wearing all day um i haven't worn a shoe yet where i didn't my feet didn't get uncomfortable if i was on my feet all day uh, that includes like trainers and runners and uh you know slip-ons and casual shoes and basketball shoes at some point my feet would get tired or i would want to take them off and that's no these are no exception um but if it's just like a normal day you know a work day or something like that uh they're fine they're really good they're ca they're comfortable um your feet are going to get a little bit warm because of that fabric upper so i i felt my toes getting a little more sweaty than they would in other shoes uh, so that's one thing to be aware of but overall i think they're very comfortable you can just kick them throw them on and kick around and tighten that section up and you're ready to go so let's talk about two um kind of drawbacks they're not really big issues just something to be aware of one is this weird creasing that happens in the uh that's that panel right here you can see what I mean, um, they're like these dimples forming and, and weird, you know, weird things going on there. I think uh, it's mainly due to the sizing. Maybe if you went with your the smallest size you could wear and you really filled that shoe out, that this wouldn't be as bad as it is um, just in the half size down. I, you know, I personally don't have a problem with it, but I know that's going to bother some people. Um, what's happening is when I'm towing off, obviously this fabric portion is not going to crease, uh, and all that pressure is being focused into this, this area here. Okay. And that's, what's causing these weird dimples and, and things like that. Um, it, it is actually a little bit annoying though, just because, you know, when I would be sitting down and looking at them, I, it looks like dirt if, if the light is right. And, the shadow there it looks like dirt and i'm like what's going on there i just got these and then you know you look uh more more closer more carefully and you can see that it's just those those weird you know mis misshapen things happening there um so that's one thing and the other thing is for all you drivers out there um i wear these to drive and i know a lot of people carry like spare shoes to uh to change into and it's actually a really good idea um and i'll probably end up doing that for these uh when if the pedal like i'm talking about the brake and the, the gas pedal if it's not centered exactly on your under your shoe uh, it has a tendency to catch like the pedal right there and slip okay so that's really i have to be very aware of where my foot is when i'm driving and it's actually really really annoying so uh, that's one thing to be aware of if you're going to end up driving in these um I'll, I'll probably carry something else and just change into these if I'm driving because I don't want to worry about that. You know, you should be worrying about like traffic signals and, and things like that. Um, but it just catches the pedal um, right there because of this, this cord out area. So if it's not centered exactly, even if it is centered exactly, it just feels a little, not, not too secure, right? So that's one thing to be aware of if you're going to be driving in these, uh, that it has a tendency to catch the, uh, the gas and the brake pedals in weird ways and slip off if you're not careful. So that's another thing to, uh, to be um, aware of for these. Overall, I think um, I would recommend them. They are very comfortable, and I personally like the look. Uh, and they're very um, functional as well, meaning you can just slip them on and wear them, and you don't have to worry about them getting dirty, and they're going to be comfortable, and uh, you don't have to worry about them um, bothering you in any way. So you guys have any questions or comments, um, please leave them below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this helped. And if you have, again, any questions or comments, please let me know. And thanks a lot, guys.